What's up filmmakers and creators, my name is Vegard Heidal and today I'm going to show you how to make use of the guided color correction inside of Color Vista. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I got a lot of filmmaking and video editing tutorials coming up, so smash that bell! For the last couple of months I've been using the Magic Bullet Suite and it is awesome. And today I really want to show you how you use the guided color correction inside of Magic Bullet Suite. So let's jump into the computer and I will show you how. Inside of Premiere Pro on the timeline, I do have this clip right here that I have not done anything to yet. So it's not color graded, it's straight out from the camera. And to start the process of the guided color correction, we're going to effects, video effects, and we're going to find colorista right there and just drag it over to our clip. Now we are going to the effects controls panel and uh, in colorista here you can see that we have this guided color correction button. So click that and that will bring up this panel right here. Now this is just a welcome screen letting you know that this is the basic steps of color correction. So I'm just going to click continue and uh, the first real panel here is how the video was shot. So you can choose by your knowledge about how your video footage was shot. If it was a video with no uh, known camera settings, maybe a flat profile, a log profile, or maybe you don't know at all. So for this shot, I know that this was shot with a Sydney 4 profile on my Sony A7S 2 So I'm going to choose flat video. I'm going to select that one and click next. Now on this screen you see that the footage is now turned black and white. And the first thing we are going to adjust in this guided color correction is the black levels. Now we got this slider right here. We can drag the shadows up or we can drag the shadows down. But notice what happens here. When I drag the slider too far down, it will clip and you will see in the scope right here we got blue dots all over the image and that means that the black levels are completely crushed on these blue dots right here so we're going to try to avoid that so i'm going to drive the slider a little back up and uh, eliminate the blue now in the middle here we have like the recommendation from uh, magic bullet and uh, to me this looks fine so i'm going to uh, go to the next step which is the white levels now in this shot i do have a lot of highlight clipping and you can see here the red represents the highlights and this is all blown out but i'm not going to worry too much because you can use the highlight recovery in colorista but it's not going to work all the time but you can drag the slider right here to uh, experiment and i'm just going to eliminate that right now uh, i don't think i can do much about the highlights uh, around this wall right here but you just have to try it and see what fits your footage on the next screen we have midtones and uh, we can adjust the midtones a little bit um, the recommendation you can see here on the scopes we have like this curve right here and uh, i'm going to let's see here maybe i think i'm going to go a little bit beyond the recommendation i think this looks a little bit better and i'm going to go next one on that as well now we are going to select the contrast and for this particular footage i think we can play around a little bit with the contrast some more so i'm just going to drag this a little bit up right there maybe have a little bit more punchy feel to this footage uh, I think that looks okay and I'm going to hit next and now we're going to saturate our image again so until now we have just used the black and whites to adjust our uh, black levels white levels midtones and contrast and uh, I'm going to reintroduce some colors again to this image so we're just dragging this up and you can drag this how much you want but you can see here the recommendation uh, for my taste is very warm it's really uh, not tasteful for my taste so i think i'm going to dial this down a little bit and uh, 
you can just play around a little bit with this one i think the colors might look best around there for my taste on this particular clip and i'm going to click next on the next screen we have this really cool feature with the color balance and this is a really powerful tool you can adjust the temperature slider right here to get more warm or cool we can also adjust the tint so more make, make it more green or even more magenta just like that on the right side here we see that often a well balanced image will have colors evenly distributed around the center of the scope and one cool thing is that you can actually drag this inside of the scope and you can like customize how it looks and i think that's just a really cool feature right there you can also select a natural gray with the eyedropper tool or you can also select the skin tones and uh, let's just try out that right now boom right there you will see that the skin tones looks a little bit more natural right now but it also affected the background so what we can do to fix this is to drag the tint slider down a little bit and around there it looks pretty good to me and maybe just play a little bit around with the temperature as well uh, just to get a little bit tiny bit more of the warm colors and i'm just going to click next and on this screen you will see that this is the before and this is the after after you have done the guided color correction and we can just click finished now you can play more around with the footage after you have done the guided color correction we can maybe adjust the shadows a little bit maybe drag them a little bit up you can also select the midtones and maybe get some more refined color grading like that and uh, like i told you we got a lot of highlights here it's the sun on the wall right here and uh, there's not much i can do to do that but if you have footage that is maybe you can try this highlight recovery and uh, by using this you can just drag this slider up right here on this particular footage it's not going to work pretty good so i'm just going to leave it like it was now this is just one of the powerful features in the magic bullet suite and especially inside our colorista if you learned something today make sure to subscribe and smash that bell so you don't miss any future filmmaking and video editing tutorials create and inspire and i will see you in the next video